Welcome to the Warrior Way, the Woodhaven Brownstown School District podcast, where we talk about all things WBSD. My name is Mark Greathead, the superintendent of the Woodhaven Brownstown Schools, and I'll be your host as we celebrate where we've been, what we're doing, and where we're going. Today, we're spotlighting kindergarten enrollment and orientation with our elementary school principals, Michelle Briegel from Waganka and Tim Podluski from Yake. Welcome, Michelle and Tim. Thank you for being here. Let's start by talking about kindergarten enrollment. Thanks, Mark. Kindergarten enrollment for in-district students begins on Monday, March 11th. If you're unsure if you are an in-district family, you can call the Board of Education office at 734-783-3300 to verify your address. This will help you determine which school you will attend for orientation. Children must be five on or before September 1st to enroll in kindergarten or young fives for the 2024-25 school year. Okay. So how do parents register their children for kindergarten? It's actually very simple, Mr. Greathead. As the Woodhaven Brownstown School District has streamlined our process to make it more convenient for families. It's a two-step process. First, pre-enrollment begins online, and then it will prompt you to make an appointment to complete enrollment at the Board of Education office. Everything you need to bring to the appointment is listed on the website. Appointments last about 20 minutes, and new kindergarten enrollees will receive a t-shirt, informational folder, and a goodie bag, and will schedule your kindergarten screener while you're there. That's great. What are some of the things that parents can begin working with their children on to get ready for kindergarten? We'd love to share this part. So in thinking about kindergarten in the past, that's where we were basically playing and lots of developmental and social skills. And now we are really focusing on different academic areas. Some things that are really helpful would be if your child is able to identify their name, if they know basic colors, basic shapes, especially the simple ones like circle, square, triangle, and rectangle. We hope that children have seen the alphabet before and recognize some of those letters, both uppercase and lowercase in random order. One of the great things you can do with your child is to stop at the dollar store and purchase just some little magnetic letters. Kids love that. It's a fun way to work with your child at home. Also, for children to be able to recognize numbers in random order, we'll talk about it in more detail when you come to the buildings for orientation but some additional things that are really helpful when children begin their journey in school is that they are able to sit and listen while others are talking. Of course, we love reading books with children at school, and that's an important skill for them to be able to sit on the carpet and listen. Of course, again, being able to share and take turns, following rules, playing with other children on the playground, those are great skills to have. And then some more academic skills would be practicing coloring, holding a pencil, cutting with scissors. Those are definitely beneficial for starting school. Additionally, when we are at orientation, we will talk about the need for children to be able to handle their own toileting needs. This includes pulling up pants and really thinking about what you purchase for your child clothing-wise to wear to school. So snaps are really hard for them. We suggest pull-up pants um, are much easier. So just being able to handle themselves independently in the bathroom and helping themselves redress are definite um, pluses here at school. And then, of course, the hygiene piece of being able to wash their hands after they have used the restroom. So we really hope that these things help them. And of course, we know that accidents happen at school. All of our staff and all of our buildings help little ones when they have problems. We have oops closets at school. And we'll talk about those things in more detail when you come to orientation. One of the most important things that we suggest for parents to help us with is that children are able to say and know their first and last name when prompted. Sometimes we'll ask a child, hey, what's your name? When starting school and and they look at us with deer in the headlights, having them practice saying what their first and last name is very helpful. And finally, one of the most important things for children entering kindergarten is they should know to say their first and last name when prompted. Also, it's very important for children to be able to separate from their parents 
without crying. Although we know the first day of school jitters usually settle pretty quickly. Thank you, Mrs. Briegel. That is a lot of good information. Parents and their children who will be entering kindergarten this fall are invited to the kindergarten orientation, which is held at 6 p.m. on Thursday, April 25th at each of our elementary schools. Can you tell us what families can expect from the kindergarten orientation? Of course, Mr. Greathead. Families who choose to attend Yake Elementary School, <laughs> one of those other schools, <laughs> will learn about the kindergarten programs at each of the elementary schools and tour the classrooms. Parents will then sign up for a kindergarten screener, which helps narrow down some of the skills to work on over the summer and can also help determine if a Young Fives program may be of a better fit for your child. Speaking of our Young Fives program, each elementary school in the district has one for children whose birthdays are between September 1st and November 30th. Young Fives is a, de is a developmental kindergarten program at a slower pace with an emphasis on basic skills. Registration for Young Fives is on a first-come, first-served basis and will fill up. Parents will learn more at orientation and are welcome to talk more with principals about Young Fives if they have questions about the program. Thank you, Mr. Podlewski, for the info on what to expect at orientation. We're also pleased to announce that for the second summer in a row, we'll, we will be offering kindergarten literacy labs at each of the elementary schools. Can you tell our listeners more about this new program? Absolutely, Mark. Returning for a second year, kindergarten students may sign up for a kindergarten literacy lit program for the summer. The kinder lit labs, as we like to call them, our eight-week programs held three days a week for three hours each day at each of our elementary schools. The program begins June 18th and runs through August 8th on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 9 to noon. This is a great opportunity to get your child ready for kindergarten. The Kinderlit Labs are facilitated by qualified teachers, and students will take part in literacy and science activities and receive free books. It's a great way for children to get used to the structure of a school in a classroom environment early on, especially for those children with summer birthdays and or maybe didn't have a preschool experience up to this point. This is a free program and limited spaces are available at each elementary school to help keep smaller class sizes. Thank you both for all the information you've provided today. Again, we want to encourage and welcome our parents, with incoming kindergarten students to attend kindergarten orientation at our elementary schools from 6 to 7 p.m. on Thursday, April 25th. We hope to see all the new faces soon. Thank you, Mrs. Briegel and Mr. Podlewski. I appreciate you sharing this important information for our families and school community. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in to this episode of The Warrior Way. You can find The Warrior Way podcast where you listen to other great podcasts like on Spotify, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, Sirius, and many others. It's also available on mywbsd.org and on rss.com. 